Welcome back to my little channel. Now, I really didn't want to do another Corona video, but I will. Because let's be honest, as Gary Awesome said in one of his videos, when you look at the news, there's only two words being used. Covid and Corona. He didn't say it as such, but I'll have a link to his video. The thing is, I do want to talk about it, because what we're seeing in the Western world now is that we've created a lockdown. People are being nudged towards staying at home. Now, I do say nudged with a... You can't see it, obviously, but I'm, I'm, I'm hyphenating. No, not hyphenating. I'm putting it in parentheses. Why? Because there are countries where nudging means that the police will fine you if they find a reason to fine you. Yeah, you're outside. You're all over them doing shopping. Yeah, well, what are you getting? Well, uh, I don't know, a bottle of beer, maybe some chips, some crisps. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's non-essential. Boom, here's your fine. What do you mean non-essential? I drink beer and I eat crisps. Yeah, but you should drink milk and, and, and eat, oh, I don't know, vegetables. Uh, people will say it's not gone that far yet, but trust you me. There have been people fined for being outside, for being outside in a non-essential way. And yeah, you know, there have been stories where police talked about, well, yeah, if you're shopping, you have to have a good reason to go out shopping. You have to have a reason. And who is the arbiter of reason? Well, obviously, it's the police. The same police force that tells people not to stay outside. Well, but it's my garden. No one else is here. Yeah, that doesn't matter. You're outside. You should go inside. It's your own safety. Go inside. Well, wait a second. That's this one and a half meter bullshit thingy. Yeah, well, I know, but um, go inside. But the closest person to me is you, the police officer. And if it weren't you, then the closest person would be like 10 meters away from me. Yeah, but you're non-essentially outside, therefore we have a corona, therefore blah, 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 blah. Now, obviously, a lot of people have talked about how this is a bad thing, how this is damaging our societies, which is true, which can't be pointed out enough, but um, I'll have something to add that I'll promise you this, a lot of people haven't thought about. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about shops closing down because, well, they lose their customers. I'm not talking about people losing their jobs. These things are terrible all in themselves. Not talking about that. I'm not talking about the rise in anxiety, uh, automutilation and suicide, which are indeed happening, but no, not even talking about that. Why am I not talking about that? Because there are lots of places where people talk about this. You know the one thing that we don't talk about? Probably one of the most important things, or at least I like to think it is one of the most important things. Kids stay at home now. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Now, from a certain age, you can let them play online with other friends and blah, 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 blah. But I think up to an age of six, it's very important for them to interact with kids of their own age, to play outside, to run around. And we've taken away that option. This will be a detriment to their hmm, education, I want to say. Education is the wrong word, but development for sure. They'll not learn to deal with certain things that they would have learned to deal with before they reached a certain age. But now they can't because and it, it, it's only a few months. It's only a few months. Yeah, it is. But a few months in a year is a lot for someone who is four. It's not a big deal for someone who's 60. It's not a big deal for someone who's 40. We have other ways to deal with it. They do not. It's, it's damaging to me that we're locking down our society for an illness that has about the same reach as the common flu. Hell, it has about the same reach as the common flu even after we vaccinated the most important people in our society. I would have said 
considering the fact that maybe we don't have a working vaccine to this one, I would have thought it would be equivalent to the H1N1 out of 2009, because no one was vaccinated against that one, and hardly anyone had any resistance to that virus. But we're not seeing death numbers anywhere close to that. Then again, it is not like a flu, because the flu only lasts, what, several months? And no one knows how long this will last. The thing is, life is a lethal condition. We all die of life. Everyone dies. No matter how you spin it, no matter how you look at it, we all die. But somehow we have now decided that there is a large part of our society that's not allowed to live because we are afraid to die. And we have no idea what this will do to the long-term development of our young ones. I think it's time that we have to say, you know what? Fuck it. We live or we die as we always lived and died. And what we can do to prevent this, we should. But it shouldn't cost us our life. And at the moment, it has cost us our life. We're not living our lives anymore. We're cooped up inside. Oh yeah, we're surviving. The story is that um, a brave man dies once. The coward dies many a time. There's a reason we see a rise in anxiety. People are forced to be cowards. This is not a natural state, people. Now the government will not listen to this obviously not it's 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 who oh, I, I want to say it's a game for them i don't think it's a game but it's all about control they don't they don't want to help you they want to control you if they would want to help you they would make sure that the economy stays afloat because hell government needs a well-functioning economy but the people need it way much more the only governments that don't need a well-functioning government are authoritarians. They will enforce their will on the people, whether the economy is doing well or not. Eventually they'll fail. It'll cost them the society. But, um, yeah, if history has proven us anything, it's proven us that it can make a lot of lives a lot worse. It'll increase deaths by untold numbers, and it can go on for decades. People, I don't know what to do. I don't know what you should do. But, yeah, sure, be careful. If someone is sick, don't kiss him. Don't shake his hands. But um, educate yourself. And, and, and please don't fall for the lie that this is the most deadly virus ever. Because even if it were... Which it's not, but even if it were, we have to continue living. Because if we can't continue living, nothing is going to be changing for the better. Anyway, criticism as always is more than welcome. Let me know what you think. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And um, I hope to see you all next time.